Hey guys, what's going on? It's John here. I figured I'd do a new model review. And excuse me if I'm sound a little funny. It's very cold in my room. Anyway, I figured I'd do this model today. It is of the Trans World Airlines, or TWA 747-100, in their last livery before the buyout and merger with American. I love this livery. Um, it's really nice. The uh, different stripes of colors which consist of the red, the red sheet line, the gold, and the dark blue, which some people think would be black, but it's actually dark blue, probably navy. Uh, the Golden Globe Library. I believe that's what it is, Golden Globe. I could be wrong. If anyone could correct me, please do so. Um, so let's get into some detail here. Oh, sorry about the land. You have cockpit, emergency hatch for the uh, crew to get out of, front door. Landing length. Now this plane's powered by the JT JT9 D engines. This is the original Pratt Whitney engine for the original 747-100. Now this is an older Gemini Jets mold. It's not like their newer one. It has the uh, solid rigid gear rather than the rolling. Also, you can tell the lack of antennas on the wingtips. But considering this model is a classic, it's worth getting if you can find it. TW on the back, American flag on the tail. Registration is November 93108. Front view. Uh, this model was made for the uh, CR Smith Museum. I guess it was a special release for them. If you happen to, like I said, if you find this model, definitely uh, pick it up. Landing lights, the red, that would be the red uh, rotating beacon. Since this is an older, they have the rotators, the, the flashers. Front. Uh, same view, same thing on this side, except for the cargo doors, the green navigation light, and the rear baggage door. I love the 747. It's a great model. Particularly, you don't see that too many 100s anymore. Uh, the black stripes on the wings are interesting. No other airline has ever done that from what I know of. Tail view again from the other side. Let's do a back view. Horizontal stabilizers. Vertical stabilizer. That's where the APU is. This is a very rare model. I don't know how much you'd go for eBay. I'm not going to sell it. But I know it'd probably definitely be worth something. Now, since American just came out with a TWA livery for the Heritage Planes. Hopefully someone makes either Gemini or Aero Classics. Now let's take a quick look at the box. It's a little different than usual. So this is the box. TWA. TWA. Where the model goes. It's got pictures of all the uh, different planes and libraries they've used over the years. As I said, American Airlines here, Smith Museum. This is a 2002 release, so it's pretty old. So if you do get your hands on it, it's a rare one. But I recommend grabbing it. Licensed by American Airlines. American Airlines, for Eagle, you know, standard stuff. I bought a model from the CR Smith Museum. It wasn't this one. It was the uh, American 75, 752 in the One World. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I like this livery the best. I don't mind for the red stripe, but this one's definitely the best. Um, I'm hoping they do make some more eventually. The 717, 757's MD-80. Maybe even a new 742 would be nice with the newer mold. Anyway, guys, uh, I gotta get to work soon, so I figured I'd do this quick review. I'll have it uploaded later after I get home. That's freezing in my room. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try and get some more videos soon. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Later.